Hello and welcome to Lot 49. Today we are going to be talking about Jeremy Corbyn. Yes, he has been barred from standing as a Labour MP in the next general election. The earliest that election will happen will be around the December 2024 or early January 2025, so that's about two years from now. So now I want to move over to an article by from Squawkbox, talking about his um, his future plans and what he might do now that he's no longer going to be able to run in his constituency or even in the party. Start from here. However, the Labour right has barely bothered to disguise its contempt for party democracy and rules, rigging a st string of the selections and ignoring conference resolutions, even overwhelming and unanimous ones that are supposedly binding. There is no allowance in the party rules for a party member not to sit as a Labour MP if elected, but that hasn't stopped Starmer's cowardly actions so far in withdrawing the whip. So technically, if there is no, no allowance in the party rules for a member not to sit as a Labour MP if elected, so, he would be able to run in the local election for the MP, and if he won, as a member of the M as a member of the Labour Party, he would be able to sit in Parliament in the House of Commons as a Labour MP. But getting back to it, if Corbyn said now that he's standing as an independent candidate, which a lot of people have suggested, Novara Media did a section asking people in his constituency about this. While a lot of people seem to be on board with the idea, this goes into a little more detail as to why that might not be a good idea, at least in the short term. Now if he decide, if he's standing as an independent candidate, that would give Sama the, the chance to exploit the party rules to expel Corbyn from the party altogether. So in short, if he said he was running as an independent in this election, and therefore running against the Labour Party, um, Starmer would be able to use party rules to kick him out of the party altogether and he would not be able to sit with the Labour Party MPs. This would also give the press a chance to exploit the next two years with anti-Corbynism. While many feel that since Starmer has effectively killed Labour as a force for anything except best more of the same as the Tories, Corbyn, formerly on the outside of a party, would be a good thing and a rallying point for a new political party. Corbyn is unlikely to feel he wants to hand Starmer that PR opportunity just yet. Of course, since there isn't realistically time for a legal challenge before the next general election, and the courts routinely rubber stamp the Labour Party's disregard for, for, for rules and democracy, even when the party's excuse is wanting to prevent someone challenging corruption. Whenever an election is called, it is almost certain that Corbyn will have to stand as an independent Labour or similar. Thousands from Islington and all over the country will flood the constituency, campaign for him, likely to feel that to do so now would be premature and play into his enemy's hands. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Citations and links have been left down in the description. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you at some point in the future. Oh, and as with all YouTube channels, please feel free to like, comment, share, 